Hi everyone and welcome to my channel audio video and music entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you how to turn your Android phone or your Android tablet into a field location monitor to use with your DSLR camera uh, for your film projects or for your video making or videography projects. Now uh, I'm not saying that this is going to replace the conventional professional uh, field location monitor but if you're on a budget like me and you want to turn your spare Android device into a field location monitor to monitor your videos, then stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, guys. Uh, so this is the back of my DSLR camera rig. And this is my tripod. And uh, you can already see there is a microphone mounted on top of my DSLR camera. And what I've done is I have connected uh, my Android phone as a field monitor uh, with my DSLR camera and I'll exactly show you how to do it um, okay so in order to achieve this you're gonna need uh, five things and uh, I'll go in order what do you need first thing is you're gonna need a compatible uh, OTG or on-the-go USB cable for your Android device whether you are planning to use uh, an Android phone or an Android tablet or a phablet. Whatever you're planning to use, just make sure you order the compatible cable. Uh, now, I've ordered this cable for about 99 pence of eBay. Uh, second cable you're going to need is the USB AV cable that came with your camera. Uh, okay, third thing is you're going to need this smartphone one by fourth of the inch uh, holder with one by fourth of the inch mount. And uh, I purchased this from Poundland for about one pound. Okay, fourth thing you're gonna need is the articulated arm uh, with the clamp or without the clamp, uh, depending on your shooting style. Uh, now i've purchased this for about uh, 11 pounds of ebay and fourth thing obviously you're going to need a spare uh, android device like a phone or tablet or a tablet uh, to use as a uh, external feed more field monitor with your dslr camera and sixth thing and the most important thing obviously you're going to need is the application that's going to run that now uh, Canon provides an application, uh, but it only works with wireless DSLR cameras. And uh, uh, this application works via wire, which I believe is a better connection than wireless. So the name of this application is DSLR Controller, and it is downloadable from Google Play Store. It's It cost about six pounds in UK and about seven uh, $7.50 in US. So once you have downloaded the application, do this, you go to, I'll just zoom in. Okay, so once you have downloaded the application, just go ahead and open the application on your Android uh, device and it will display that it's searching uh, for compatible DSLR cameras. Now connect the OTG cable with your DSLR camera and then connect it to the AV port on your DSLR camera which I'll show you is basically right here up here so connect the USB that came with your DSLR camera to the AV USB port then connect that other end of the cable to the OTG cable that you have purchased from Amazon or eBay. Now connect this cable to the phone or tablet and reopen the application. As you'll reopen the application, it will automatically detect your DSLR camera and start displaying the live view and other options. So basically, whatever you could do on your camera about 70% or 80% of the functions you can operate it from uh, this application most of most important functions you can operate from here uh, and uh, In in my second part of this video guys what I'll show you is how to send this live view uh, stream to wirelessly to a second monitor or or your TV in another room or in another location 
Uh, now, while you move this, there is a lag, but there's a latency, but it's not that bad. Uh, I mean, if you're on a budget, this would do the job for you. And obviously, you can move this articulated arm in any direction you want. So if you are shooting a YouTube video, and let's say you're just sitting right there, then obviously you can monitor yourself. So this is a brilliant thing to uh, make YouTube videos or even for vlogging where you don't have to hold the camera. Uh, as I said, in the second part, I'll show you how to wirelessly send this video stream to your second monitor or to your TV. So stay tuned for the second video. And if you have liked this video, please click on the like icon and uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep making good AV videos. Thank you. Bye.